There it is. Blinding jab right there to set this right hand. You see Rice. Rice was throwing his right hand. Kept his head on the line. But Ajaba, he threw his right hand and got his head off the line. Here it is again. Beautiful sequence right there from Ajagba. You know, he, he hit him actually when he was coming in. You know, he hurt him. He hurt him pretty badly there, you know. But everything is off the jam. Deadly beats and killing them softly. Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Blog Center, the home of Ninja Boxing. And like I always say, please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all. So anytime I drop it in your bank, a new exclusive video, you will definitely be notified. And to my ninja brothers and sisters are worldwide. Now God, I take back with us. Make a lot of video, share, subscribe. Sharing is caring. The more you like this video, the more you the apples grow. Because what do they give you now? Bangers. Now extraordinary bangers. What do they talk about? Now only few people they talk about. And in fact, the best boxing channel for nine days for now. For everybody. For the whole wide world. Uh, so we see him. Let's get straight to it. Effie Ajabba, the one and only, aka the Nigerian Nightmare, aka the Ugly Monster, aka the Machine, aka the one and only. You know, his fight against Jonathan Rice for a lot of people um, was a letdown, okay? Even some of the journalists, you know, that works with ESPN kind of say, oh, Jack, but did not do well. But I mean, uh, only few people knew what was really going on or what happened. What I called, what I don't call, you know, what I called a few weeks back. Just two weeks ago, Ajagba and Jonathan Rice never knew they were going to fight each other. And they sparred. And after the sparring, Jonathan Rice said, Whoa, this guy could not hit me. You know what I mean? Like I thought he would. And. After they found out they were going to fight each other, Jonathan Rice again said, We'll see who got the best of each other in sparring. So, Ajakba having also like rumored to, 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 to have sustained an injury, you know, a shoulder and elbow, you know, injury or so like that. But the main thing is that Jonathan Rice told it Ajakba, and they never knew two weeks ago they would be fighting each other. Because the the guy that was supposed to fight Jaguar kind of withdrew. He didn't want to smoke that Jaguar. So the Nigerian, the Nigerian the nightmare, the one and only, had to then fight um, Jonathan Rice, who already started the guy. This also reminds me of when Joseph Parker didn't know he was going to be fighting a Rajvan Kojono. Rajvan Kojono has been a, a great sparring partner, a good sparring partner for Joseph Parker for a long time. So he know he knew about Joseph Parker, you know, a uh, uh, skill set, movement, everything. He, he studied Joseph Parker, and when they fought, Joseph Parker did not look good. But Rajvan Kojono got stopped by a jaguar. He got stopped by the underboy because he did not understand. Oh, he doesn't understand a job, but oh, uh, and uh, then the ball. And a lot of people is for that that has knocked him out in a way. Now, let's get our brother right here to a job on what he think about this. A job and you rise, you know, having spot two weeks proud to their fight, not even knowing they were gonna fight each other. You take on this, brother, to a job. Uh, explains, you know, somewhat of a lot why he looked the way he did. Um, well, one thing is, I, I don't know who made this fight, but 
it wasn't to help out uh, Danny Dubois. I said Danny Dubois, Effie Ajago, because one thing is I learned when it comes to your, when you fight your sparring partner in 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 um in the uh, in in a in a fight, one thing is either going to happen. He's going to make you look stupid. Or you're gonna look stupid, and you know it, 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 the fight just won't look good. And one of you is gonna come out victorious. That's that's for sure. And the, the, it seems like whoever made that fight should have known what was gonna happen. Because if 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 Efer Jago sparred him prior to this. That means he knew how F.A. was. He knew how his punches were. He knew basically everything about F.A., you know? And sometimes sparring partners don't ideally become the best uh, 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 somebody you want to fight with because they know your ins and outs. They know what punches throw you off. They know how to gain the upper hand with you. So with that being said, I could I could see why he looked the way he did. You know, history has has proven, you know, over over again when the sparring partners, you know, one of them, it's it doesn't really end well, you know, it just doesn't really end well. So I can see why F. A. Jabba looked the way he did, and you know, and performed the way he did. You know, I wish I wish they would have they would have. They would have found a better, another opponent other than him. They just would have benefited him basically. But it was disappointing that they sparred before they even, before this, prior to this. You know, I, I, they need to just learn how to market FA. FA is a unique fighter, and if you don't market him right, nothing, it, nothing's gonna happen. That's what I think, man. I really don't have much to say about it. Thanks, brother. Really appreciate you your input and of course your take on this now guys you heard it from tajagbe you know guy was very optimistic about about uh, fighters and fighting and all the stuff boxing and many many things that is very optimistic about but at the same time he gives credit when due you know what i mean ajagba like he said he's a special father we all know that we just want him to get you know his skill set together and learn more but i cannot fought the coach you know kick or rumor because they just started working together not long ago so you cannot really fought him and i know a lot of people are going to be saying all this kind of stuff Jack, but even said himself he still got like two years to 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 mature in the game and maybe there are some things that jabba can never get together maybe there are some things but we cannot deny the fact that jabba's style and uniqueness is just amazing okay is what makes him him but i believe if he lets the jab go and work on his upper uh, body movement and his defense it doesn't i mean the head movement of course is necessary but at the same time he's a big man he's six six guy so maybe not the time but it's same but you know what i mean because you've already got an equalizer but i understand that that can that comes naturally let's not forget that when you just started boxing he didn't really use love head movement like that when Joshua fought Dylan White. He didn't use that movement. It was a, a total war. So Joshua developed that as time went on, and I think a jab will do the same. So we wish our brother good luck, and uh, yeah, wish him nothing but the best. And of course, coming back stronger is very important. Stay blessed, guys. Stronger, stumble, and catch you in the next one. Mona, go follow me for Instagram at uh, Boxing Block Center on Twitter at Boxing Block as well. Facebook at Boxing Block Center. Instagrams. Follow me for there, I beg. So that make with reach one kid then make with a do on that show for the start one show like that I wanna do. Stay blessed because I don't want buy followers. I won't get authentic followers like I get for YouTube here. Stay blessed guys. Mm -hmm.